All right, yeah, boy, I haven't take, taken the um, the dust cover off this uh, since Saturday when uh, Rob was over and I took it off and uh, we chit chatted for a bit about it. Yeah, I uh, even though yeah, and I only took it off for you guys. Um, I've been uh, well before my second sleep, I guess. I think I was looking at um, the situation over here for uh, well, maybe we should look at it from the Russian perspective, but. Um, you know what to do here it's this gaping hole that the germans uh put in so i've just been trying to figure out um well yet again looking at those index cards and uh the strength points and trying to figure out how to plug that hole or how to uh fall back a bit or who's going to be responsible for what but i'm going to uh, say this oh goody i i did i did make some notes because this is going to be another ramble but um I'm starting to clue in in some ways. I was also listening to a podcast last night um, about the Ottoman Empire. And um, a lot of this now I'm starting to clue into its pacing for your offensive. Uh, at least that's the way I'm starting to look at it. So sometimes it may not, it may take two, three months to finally get all uh, the ducks in a row to, you know, and the rest of the time it's just um making sure your lines don't break uh at least that's the way i'm i'm trying to look at it uh at this point it's something that i can see it happening or um it's a possibility if that's the way to look at this um a war and the the game system i guess um uh, which i'm just finding absolutely fascinating um what else i did make notes maybe i don't need to use them that would be nice oh the can games uh, schedule or deadline, sorry, is um, the 17th of February. So I have to get uh, pop in my volunteer thing. And um, I don't think we have to um, put in. Well, obviously we can't put in because they haven't displayed the um, uh, what games are available. There's only one game that I want to play. Well, I try to make sure of uh, there's a they always uh in the list say, you know, whoa, what is your second and third choice for a game? And I'm like, no, I only have one choice. That's it. I don't give you a second and third choice. I get that game. If I don't get that game, I'm not playing another game. That's just the way it is. Um, yeah, it's a, I don't know if I mentioned it, but they usually do it on Saturday afternoons. It's 15 millimeter. It's about eight players. They do um, the Seven Years War. It is just brilliant. They use a modification of the ancient warhammer rules i think or something it's kind of like pressure luck a uh, bit with the command and control uh, anyways i love it it's a, it's just a great time and i've had some great interactions with people um had my ass kicked several times over the years and draws and had some amazing whoa i didn't uh, expect to you know be able to succeed doing that crazy stuff or whatever yeah it's yeah that to me is um well and then it's like the you know the tip of the iceberg of a the greatest Sunday of the year kind of thing, dessert stuff. It's, well, can games blows me away. Um, yep. Also, I just want to remind, well, it's mostly myself, but I think this is a tie-in. Um, I had a great day, actually, yesterday with work. Um, how do I explain this? Uh, let's just say that I took the bull by the horns in some ways because I felt not very confident proceeding work-wise and um uh yeah basically i just wanted to make sure i was on the on the same page with some other people uh before proceeding and um god all three of us were super grateful for it uh they were like wow thank you for reaching out and whatever and it was kind of i just needed to take the initiative uh, due to the fact that no one else was uh basically and uh I was like, screw this. This is way above my pay grade or whatever. But enough of this crap. Uh, I just wanted to, um, yeah, it felt good. Um, but uh, that helped me out with the communication aspect, which I'm trying to do now is uh, sometimes I'm still like, remember, I'm learning about pacing and timetables and schedules and whatnot. So that's what I'm getting ready for for tomorrow's live stream. So, and yet I'm getting better because it's, you know, it's episode 14 now. And, um, you know, it's, it's, 
those things, are, there's not a lot of things to do. Well, there's a lot of things to do, and you know, most of them are not very long, but it's, it's like, make sure you have them ready before the live stream to make sure things are done, and try to get them done ahead of time, just in case other things pop up that may cause, in other words, don't wait till the last second. And these are thing, uh, place names that I have to, uh, would like to look up, and pop on the map and you know just and do a bit of a rehearsal kind of thing to get ready um but yeah i sometimes i'm like okay don't get overwhelmed or it's not going to be perfect it's never going to be perfect and it's going to you know you're it's getting better over time that's the way i'm looking at it um what else oh i wanted to show you this what do you think of that huh welcome to product development and what not so part i was thinking uh, also later on i was like oh god you're terrible um I'm like, yeah, I'm sending out these uh, free T-shirts to people that uh, absolutely adore. And, um, you know, I'm like, oh, you're also a greedy little or a selfish little bastard because I'm going to be using these guys as customer feedback. <laughs> or at least I hope so. Anyways, they could say, well, I just like, uh, I want them to be honest and say, okay. And also, you know, wear the goddamn thing so I can find out if it falls apart in three seconds. Actually, I'm wearing the green one right now and I'll wear it for a little while. I also want to find out because it's that old school uh, iron on stuff I remember from a kid. So I don't know if that feeling is, you know, irritating. Like how big do you get where that sound and and feeling is a bit odd kind of thing. Well, we'll see. Um, what else did I want to yabber on about? Um, oh, I think I'm starting to clue in. Like it's taking shape and I'm glad that people, you know, very way back when, I can't remember who, who they said, but they were like... Uh, Remember, gaming, you know, this is a full-time hobby, you know. Uh, make sure you take a look way ahead before you start making c crazy rash, rash decisions, like, you know, quitting your job and, find, and living off in the bush somewhere where you have to, like, pedal a bike to get electricity and so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, I have made a list and, you know, done all that stuff. And, um, and also... Like I think I mentioned a few posts ago that it's like, okay, what is the important thing to me in my life right now and probably for quite some time and, you know, lifestyle based on, I haven't lived the lifestyle of a nun, trust me. Um, so I've got to think of things like that and it's like, well, I want to do more research about World War One. I. I want to impart, you know, that knowledge and I want to discuss it with people and I want to game about it and... Um, I just want to interact and continue doing what I'm doing and um, how can I facilitate that and get more out of my consciousness, conscious day and, you know, continue doing that type of stuff. So that's one way of looking at it. So I'm like, okay, that's the way I'm going to approach it. Um, sex. So like I was saying, it's like, well, I like the outdoors and everything. Well, I don't, but don't want to mow the lawn. Well, that's what parks are for that type of stuff. Um, Secondly, damn it, I wish I had bookmarked it last night. I found a website where it, I think it's a volunteer uh, run organization, um, like a nonprofit or whatever. They have the, It's an ongoing list, like a massive index or, or whatever uh, directory of um, all the World War I memorials in Canada. And uh, I was thinking, wow, maybe I can help out that way, um, you know, putting whatever uh, money, if I, World War One product money can go towards that way, as well as maybe that will help frame or direct where I'm going to move to. Maybe I'll move to um, a place that uh, has a World War One memorial that uh, touches, um, you know, it somehow uh, strikes a chord in my heart or, you know, or whatever. Maybe that's the way to go. I, anyways, it's feeling that way. So I'm liking, I'm liking the way it's going. Did I uh, mention anything else? My crazy little thingamajig. Oh my God, man. The temperature swings going on. It's not as bad. It's usually, they, they always kind of hear, um, always, uh, you know. Anyways, it was minus two yesterday afternoon. And they were calling for minus 30 tonight. And, uh, or like when you get up in the morning. And then a high of minus 26. It's about minus 20 right now. But, um, so it's usually never as bad. But still. You want to talk about a wind? You, yeah, I mean you can't get a can't not get a wind with that type of temperature swing. But um, uh, excuse me, what else did I yabber on about or want to yabber on about? Uh, 
Jeepers jumping. Oh yeah, and there's the other thing I wanted to um, mention about the um, the live streams. Um, because like I said, I've been doing like a lot of reading or listening to podcasts and so on and so forth. And I'm starting to clue in um, that Russia, as far as I'm concerned, and now I'm starting to clue into as well, uh, the Ottoman Empire, from what I gather, from, what, from my perspective, do not get anywhere near uh, the amount of fair treatment or credit that they should be getting uh, for the amount of effort and sacrifice uh, that they did during the World War One. I. I mean, you know, and it's I, interesting that it's for either side. Um, you know, I was listening to a podcast like, like I said last night on the Ottoman Empire, and they were mentioning that um, if you count them all, uh, the Ottomans uh, had um, were fighting on eight fronts. For example, and you know, or you take a look at the Russians, and you know, I was looking at this earlier on in the week, and I was like, "Holy smokes!" When I'm looking at you know the world, uh, the week that was, and I'm ri writing down all the events, I'm like, "Russia's all over the place, over a huge amount of area, fighting all over the place, with not the greatest infrastructure and um, re you know, um, just industrial might, I guess you could say, compared to the Germans and whatnot, and yet." God, they're doing a hell of a lot of heavy lifting, um, that type of stuff. So uh, those are other uh, segments I would love to, uh, you know, discuss with people uh, in the live streams and so on and so forth. But anyways, I think that's a bit more, you know, that's about 12 minutes of a ramble, of whatever. Anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic um, Friday and that's it, really. Okay, bye.